what does the quantitative immunoglobulin test measure? In terms of quantitative immunoglobulins, normally people have five different classes of immunoglobulins, IgA, IgG, IgM, IgD, and IgE. Those last two, the amount of protein in the blood normally is very, very small. Unusual to have IgE myeloma. There are some cases of IgD myeloma. But suffice it to say, most centers will measure the total amount of IgA, IgG, and IgM in a person's uh, serum. So often when a person has myeloma, one of those two types, uh, IgA or IgG, will be very elevated. And the other two types uh, or the other, the other members in that, those classes will be depressed. So for example, for the most common type of myeloma with an M spike, IgG kappa, and that, that accounts for about 60% of myeloma, those patients might have a very high level of IgG totally measured and that the IgA and the IgM levels will be low. IgM is kind of in a special class by itself. There are on occasion people who have myeloma that makes an IgM monoclonal protein. In general, people who have a very high level of IgM don't have myeloma. They fall into a category of what we call Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia, which is sort of like a, a low a low grade lymphoma, a slow growing lymphoma, or um, they might have something that's termed sometimes lymphoplasmacytic lymphoma, basically sort of the same terms, but they 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 rarely have true myeloma. So the quantitative immunoglobulin test measures IgG, IgA, and IgM. And basically what this is measuring is the um, immunoglobulins that the body is making from plasma cells. Now, this is important because a lot of the times in people who have multiple myeloma, their immune system is compromised as a side effect of the myeloma cells themselves. So we see a drop in IgA and IgM, or we see a drop in IgG, and those, uh, those are a sign that it could put the patient at risk of infections. Now, IgG, when we check it in the quantitative immunoglobulins, it, can, it gives us the total amount of proteins and immunoglobulins of that subtype that the plasma cells are making, but it does not tell us if they are functional immunoglobulins or non-functional immunoglobulins. So it's always important that when we are checking quantitative immunoglobulins, we also complement it with an SPEP and immunofixation so we can have a better idea of what percentage of those immunoglobulins are functional and which ones are actually being made by the cancer cells themselves and are not gonna help us fight infections.